For what purpose does the gentleman from Oklahoma rise? Madam Chairman, I rise to strike the last word. And the gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Uh, Madam Chairman, I rise in opposition to this amendment. This is clearly an attempt to legislate policy through an appropriation bill, contrary to the intent of regular order, and this is not the way that we should do business. Arbitrarily changing eligibility requirements for farm programs outside of the farm bill is irresponsible. It seriously undermines farmers' ability to make long-term plans and investments. And it adds a dangerous element of uncertainty to the market. The result would be a reluctance to make investments in equipment and practices that increase productivity. The process of developing the 2012 Farm Bill will begin in the Agriculture Committee next week. Our first step will be a comprehensive audit of current farm programs to determine which is working, which are not, and how to best ensure that America's farmers and ranchers remain competitive and productive into the 21st century. Our farm program audits are just the beginning of what will be a very transparent, inclusive, thorough process of dev developing the 2012 Farm Bill. During that process, we'll be careful to consider how best to stabilize or how to provide stability and certainty to farmers during lean years. Without appropriate risk management tools in place, a few bad seasons could put farming operations out of business permanently. Proponents of this amendment make it sound like the Agriculture Committee has done nothing on this issue. That could be farther from the truth, as my colleague has just alluded. In 2008, the Agriculture Committee, under the leadership of my colleague, then-Chairman Peterson, meticulously debated the uh, appropriate levels for farm program eligibility. The results were some of the most aggressive reforms in AGI in two decades. Not only did we tighten eligibility, but in the implementation of those rules, USDA allows IRS to verify a farmer's AGI. In 2012, we'll once again review how to efficiently and effectively target farm policy. America's farmers, ranchers, and taxpayers deserve an open and accountable policy-making process. This amendment not only precludes a transparent process, but it silences the voices of Americans who would like to contribute to comprehensive discussion of farm policy. I urge you to oppose this amendment to prevent policy discussions from being shortchanged, allow us to work through regular order, and the open process that will be used in the coming year. Once again, I oppose the amendment, and I yield back the balance of my time, Madam.